or dexedrine will actually slow a child down with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. You see uh, a child that's just bouncing off the walls, they're so hyperactive, you put them on Ritalin or dexedrine, and pretty soon they're able to, to sit still and pay attention. Some of them, if the dose is too high uh, or they're too sensitive to it, they'll, they'll be almost like little zombies. The thing is, when you give Ritalin or Dexedrine, Dexedrine, for instance, is what the, the pilots that shot our Canadian soldiers in Afghanistan were taking when they were flying that jet. They're, they're, they're given Dexedrine all the time. They're just pumped with it to keep them awake and flying way into the you know, wee hours of the morning. So you can think of it this way, when you take a stimulant like Dexedrine or Ritalin uh, and you have attention deficit disorder, um, even though the gas pedal is down a little bit harder, you finally have some brakes in the steering wheel. And the inhibitory power of that part of the brain overrides the stimulant effect of the drug. Even though your heart is racing a little bit faster, your appetite goes down, uh, you get a little jittery, um, your blood pressure goes up, and your brain is really awakened. This part of the brain is so powerful, when it finally awakens, it's able to exert executive control over the brain and the child can sit still and do what they're told and so on. So that's the, that's the paradox of spinning on drugs. Third grade was just horrendous. He started having severe anxiety. He was not going out for recess. He was telling me, Mom, I don't feel good. I just want to put my head on the desk and go to sleep. He goes, it doesn't make me feel good. Don't make me take them. I feel like a freak. This is so disturbing. As a parent, it, it's heart-wrenching to hear that your son doesn't want to take something and you have to basically tell him that the school wants him to take it. they're taking these small children out of homes and addicting them to these very powerful mind-altering drugs. The major stimulant drugs like amphetamine, dexedrine, and Ritalin disrupt three of the most widespread neurotransmitter systems. They actually send them into overdrive. The brain doesn't like this, so the brain fights back and it tries to slow itself down in the face of the overdrive. So that every child on these drugs is having these three neurotransmitter systems disrupted and at the same time is having his or her brain fight back. And it's very unstable and it's very unpredictable. And as a result, you never quite know how a child is going to react. The major stimulus of 